Now at 11, it's been less than a week since the city of Columbus determined that that new Greyhound terminal needs to move out. Tonight, we're learning police are investigating yet another crime there. 10 TV's Ashley Bornanson shares what we know about the incident and how the city is responding. Today, Columbus Police confirms they received a 911 call of a man causing a disturbance and groping himself in front of others at the Greyhound bus terminal on Wilson Road. And as a woman, that is absolutely terrifying. I mean, being on public transport shouldn't have that added level of, of, of danger. Wilson Oaks resident Shea Sherrick says in just over a month, the Greyhound terminal has transformed her neighborhood and not for the better. Before the Greyhound station was in, we would have we would have kids, the neighbor kids, just roaming the street on their bikes, playing. But now, Island, I haven't heard kids in weeks. Why do you think that is? Because everyone's scared. Sherrick says she fears of the increase in crime for the local residents, businesses, and the treatment of the bus riders. Well, it doesn't have bathrooms, no crosswalks, nothing to keep you safe from the elements. That just makes it harder. I mean, people already, yeah, people already do that because they have no other option. To be so treated is just appalling. Last week, the city placed multiple violations on the Greyhound terminal. Sherrick says these gave her hope, but she's praying they follow through on her actions. You know, the window and clock is ticking. The window is closing very quickly. Uh, and, you know, we're ready to, you know, proceed with court action um, whenever the timing is right, once the, the time here expires. Barron's bus has less than 20 days to respond to the zoning and buildings orders from the city. In the meantime, city officials tell me it will not be closed down. In studio, I'm Ashley Bornanson for 10TV News.